pasta with some tomato stuff. I've, I've just cleaned the floors with um, carbonate by soda and water. And now I'm going along with this stuff. It's, um, it's a, it says method, wood floor cleaner squirt and mop. Well, okay, squirt and cloth. And it's an almond flavor, it makes the place smell nice. Not that it didn't anyway, but it gives it a fresh feel, particularly in the toilet. Either I'm particularly clean, or that bicarbonate of, bicarbonate of soda does a good job. I wonder what he's eating. Oi, piggy. Having a big old sniff. Oh, look at him. Hey. Lovely. Bit of bacon from Piggy Wiggy and some lovely brie on top. I just need to find some cranberry sauce just to top it all up with. Nice breakfast. Bon ups. It's quite hard filming this and doing it at the same time. Anyway, that do. Hello Colin, this is Chris. Radio checkover. Hello Chris. Hey, loud and clear. Over. Roger, um, I'm on my way. I'm just going to lower the pram hood and then I'm on the move. Uh, give me minutes five, over. Will do. Um, I've got Trevor who's just dropping off um, some trash, so that might take a little while. So. Uh, I'll wait for him to come back. I'm not going to try more halfway, five halfway. Over. Roger, do you mean rubbish? Over. I roger that. Roger that. <laughs> over. <laughs> All these Americanisms. Roger out. And you're right. Over. Out means you don't require to comment. Over. Over oh, enough. He must have stuffed them in the edge somewhere. Over. Roger out. <laughs> oh, I can't help but take the mick out of him for his VP. Can't help it. He'll have to have more, more. Um, so the far five ads um, collecting water. One I've had to reverse to get here. Two, it was quite chilly this morning, but it's going to warm up. Three, I like to put my pram hood up to give it a chance to dry out. Four, the bike's gone and it's in the back here. Uh, and that means the little bike is squeezed on at the back. And five, it's just started to rain. Not due to rain today, but it's raining. What's all that about? British weather. Where's Trev? <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't see you. Oh, mate, no, just, just keep your silly hat on. Good morning, Chris. 
<laughs> How are we doing? All right. Very well. Yeah. Supposed supposed to not rain. Well, we've had a couple of drizzles, haven't we? Uh, no matter, we've got the stuff to deal with it. You've got pram cover you can put up. Not when I'm on the move. Why not? You can't see. Oh, you can't see? Well, it's not safe, is it? Well, nobody else is. If they're silly enough to, uh, to be out in the rain. Oh, you Not sure what protective dad was going to do, but I get his point. Nesting swans, that's nice. I think they give um, birth. I don't know how long the gestation period is. May. Six, seven weeks, don't know. Something like that. Anyway. Uh, mid middle of March. Daffs are out, look. Daffs are in full bloom. But it's a nice day. Minging towpath, look, minging, gipping, gopping, howfin. All those military terms that used to be said to people when the uh, the NCOs were coming to uh, <laughs> check your bed space over. I can remember my bed space being flung all over the place. There was nothing much wrong with it. Well, I didn't think so. They did, clearly. It was just fun and games. Turn your bed space upside down, throw everything out your locker, Put it in a big pile in the middle of the floor so six of you or however many of us that were in the room maybe eight actually we all had to work out whose kit was whose and that way they could test whether you had named it all well there was method in the madness there's another dodgy part of the towpath look shored up by sandbags which appear to have weathered away Check him behind me because Colin's tick over speed is a bit quick. His, bud, his boat doesn't do run um, slow. So I've learned that, that sometimes, you know, when those pop pop engines um, with a big prop that he's got, ticks over quite quick. Another collapsed part of the towpath. talk about today now this um, on the uh, on the map the open canal planner map or the open map canals whatever it's called this is Fenny Compton tunnel you can see it look apparently it was going to be a tunnel but then it fell in so they just made it into a cutting how good's that Well, I thought it was quite good anyway. I can remember having the chat with Colin and I said to him, oh, you know, more in, I don't know how, how difficult or easy it's gonna be on the South Oxford. Um, but if it's difficult, you know, we can double more. We can park side by side. Little did I realise how narrow, by comparison to the Grand Union, the narrow boat style canals are. So there is very little opportunity to double more, if any. Um, so that, to me, that was like, wow. I mean, it is proper narrow. That was a little tight. 
what I've noticed on the South Oxford is I wouldn't want to meet a boat coming the other way. There's plenty of narrow bits on it. I don't know how, um, I don't know. Potential nest in sight, maybe? Or just a rest? However, some permanent moorings on the right. Nice bit of garden. Send over. Ridge one four four. So three, two or three bridges ahead of us is where the locks start. Ridge one four four. Clayton Top Bridge, I think it's called. Roger out. His dot stream look. Trust in sights. Some quite nice moorings, but on first first glance they didn't look quite nice, but now they are. Good use of those little caravan things. Old style shepherd's huts, I think they call them. And a black cat. Not sure if it comes with the mooring. Right way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, admin! <laughs> Go on, push against that water. Are you doing it? Yeah. Go on then. Come on. I've worked out when you're doing this by yourself, just do one paddle, doesn't matter which one. And the reason being, the boat is steady. It's just nice and easy, floats down. Oh, last week I said I didn't like these single locks. I've changed my mind. I've changed my mind, I have, I like them. And I'll tell you why I like them, because these double gates, 
easy to open. Skinny locks. They're the way forward. They are. Look at that. Look. I mean, the bunch just there. It's just doing its own thing. Uh. Oh. Fairy cakes. Do you know what? On day three, quite nice. Like them. Mmm. Mmm. Registered organic farm shop with free range eggs. This has got a bit of character to it. I like it. A few old tractors. One of them wind windmill things that they have in America. We don't have over here. I don't know what it's for. That thing there, look. I like this gaff. No eggs there than the farm shop, those there. Solid fuel supplies, it says. Seasoned firewood, kindling and coal. Some scarecrows against the wall. And the JBC tractor. Nice gaff. Nice gaff. Well, happy Easter. I've, um, I'm delivering cakes with a Easter egg on the top. More cupcakes. Happy Easter. Right, wait, that one there. Whichever one, mate. There you go, got that one. Mmm, this is, are these these little chocolate fellas? Yeah. <laughs> Lovely. It's Easter Sunday. And I like my little Easter bunny ears. kind of we've had two days i think of sun not at the same time um one was some time ago and one was yesterday it was nice spring isn't quite here yet i don't know what's going on it's got cold again um but uh, that's me whinging about the weather all i'm gonna say because i want to end this quite quickly is thanks for watching thanks for liking thanks for subscribing don't forget the merch is is there um, thank you for those of you that have ordered so far. Follow the link in the description below. Um, website needs some work still because there's one or two people that have offered me some ideas and I think, well, do you know what? That's quite a fair shout. Fair shout. So the website is, um, you know, ongoing progress, isn't it? You know, I am nearly 60 and I'm trying to battle through all the in terms of whatever goes on on website building type stuff. Uh, that, that said, happy Easter. Uh, see you next week. And um, ciao, Papa.